This game has an auto save feature. Do not close the game or shut off the PlayStation 4 system when the save icon is displayed on screen. Yo, hey. Ooh, let me try English. The English voice actor has been getting better in Japanese games. So we'll try English. If it sucks, when I get the full game, I'll go Japanese. It sucks that we can't transfer our save data over, but I, th I do think we get some type of uh, prize or something like that. Mm. Yo, Nova, what's up, man? Yo, no! I like the law. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's get it. The character law. Oh, okay. Okay, let's check them out. Let's see what law's all about. This is my first time getting acclimated with the game. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we... Huh? This game is still in the working process. It comes out in, in like a couple of weeks. Let's do it. Yo, Jet Life is here, guys. Nova, Jet Life. Hope the game is just as good as Vesperia, even better. Vesperia is just one of the greatest games I ever played of all time. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, yes, we can play on hard. This bear is so good. Adjust the queuing time for the button input when launching attack combos. Oh. Vibration settings, map orientations, sub subtitles. Game speed, build speed. I guess this should be good for now. Yo, game. Okay. See. How's my volume, guys? Yo, so don't tell me. Let me just do everything now to fit half. First aid! Pathetic! You're mine! You're finished! I'm looking forward to this bad boy. But Tales of Vesperia is so freaking good. My god, that was such a good game, man. I want to go back and, and play. I want to play it again. I just finished the game a couple of months ago. And I want to already go back and play it again. So the character you wish to control in the demo. When you clear the demo, you can see a preview video for the character you were controlling when clearing it. Note that controlling the character can be switched during gameplay. However, the bonus movie that plays after clearing the demo will remain based on whichever character you first selected on the screen. Crimson, what's going on? Yes, sir. This is the game is going to be great. Volume's good, but Spirit is so dope, man. All of the characters feel realistic. Yes, and I love how all the characters hate each other. <laughs> they hate each other. I heard this chick had a big butt. I'm gonna go with uh, Alfin. Vesperia was my jam, man. That was that was one of the best. If it wasn't for Dragon Quest XI, that would be the best game that I played this year. Dragon Quest XI, Tales of Vesperia, and Monster Hunter Stories 2. Let's see if this will dethrone it. This game will be on your modern consoles with the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and also will have an Xbox Series X well, update. Off we go. Uh, with the Xbox Series X version, it will be better frames. Is that really needed for a JRPG? Question mark? I don't know. I guess if you're into those type of things. So far, so freaking good. It looks really good. Looks okay. It looks okay. Not really my... my it's got that Unreal Engine type of look to it. 
real sharp light characters. I would prefer to have cell shaded, more colorful looking characters than going with the sharp type of uh, the sharp type of look. But it's fine. It's fine. Looks okay. I still I still think the Tales of Vesperia, Tales of Abyss. That's what the Tales of series should be. They were still able to keep the characters round in Dragon mm -hmm. Quest Eleven and have the Unreal Engine. That cell shaded look is the best though. I don't know what it is about that cell shaded look, but I love it for, for Japanese games. Just great. You think it's beautiful? Wow. Wow. I think I think it's almost uh disgusting. I think it looks disgusting. And I'm not saying that just to be uh you know right. to be um controversial. I don't think it looks beautiful at all. It's too sharp. It looks like and when you usually go with that sharp look, it's more kind of for it. You know what it looks like? Gears of War. Gears of War. You know what I mean? I'm not saying Gears of War is ugly. I just don't think Gears of War is needed for a um, Japanese role-playing game. Okay, I'm not even looking. Boost attacks, press. Has to trigger the corresponding characters, special moves with unique effects. Arts gauge, consume when arts are used. Press triangle square X to trigger the corresponding arts. Set to each button. Allies, HP, gear, points. Has to have some 40. Those cicadas are so loud. Those cicadas are so loud. Use number of attacks to build up the gauge. Then when the gauge is full, press. At least a uh, potent combo attack that can defeat non-boss foes. They're giving you all this stuff early. Basic attacks, normal attack, press R1 to perform it. Whoa, 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 what's going on? What's going on? R1? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. R1 to attack? They're turning in the tist. Uh, okay, alright. We'll see. Press R1 to perform a normal attack. At first, you can string up to three normal attacks together, but by learning certain skills, the, this limit can be increased. Characters can also attack midair after jumping. Hearts are special attacks performed by spinning part. When I see things like Gears of War graphics and I see things like pressing the R1 button to cater to the shooters, it, it's like they're going a little bit too far. Hearts are special action performance by spinning part of your ACG arts. Press triangle square to use the arts assigned to each button. While AG will gradually restore automatically, it will restore more slowly than when attacking. Push L and to evade. Press L and press R to evade the enemy's attack. If you time it well as enemy attack, the portion of the pump should allow you to avoid attacking damage. Alright, here we go! Oh god! Oh no 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 no! Oh god! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. 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 Oh, how do I roll again? I forgot. Oh, press. Uh, press triangle with R. 
push down and press R to engage. Okay, there we go. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Blue strikes are a one hit kill performance in tandem with others will allow you to see the strike an enemy press to use one immediate and boost strikes occur more frequently with lower enemy blah 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 ba -ba 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 that's cool ba -ba 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 oh, oh god uh, I'm <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Great. Not good, Namco Bandai. Not good. <sighs> There's no such thing as being too alert in battle. On we go. Uh, 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 uh. Flaming Edge Part One. Alpha can sacrifice HP to use a Flaming Edge. A strong, wide-ranging blade sword attack. To do so, hold triangle, square, or X, which will trigger a flaming edge after he performs the corresponding arts. Flaming edge moves cost no ED to use. Flaming edge part two. Flaming edge moves have an added bonus of dealing extra damage to downed enemies. Plus, after learning a certain skill, you can continue to hold the button longer, letting you exchange more alpha and HP. Okay. You can continue to hold the button longer, letting you exchange more alpha HP for more power. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 that's nice. Good channel. That's some power you will. Uh, yo, fly mics up, Sobi. I was playing this yesterday. Uh, the man law kicking butt in the battle style is bad. Is the battle style bad or something? Uh, they should make an option to change. Yes, is there an option? Is there an option to change this? Because um, I'm I'm already dinging it for for R1 using the R1 button. Okay, this is a positive. You cook meals. This is a positive. This is from Dragon Quest. Uh, at camps and inns, you can cook meals, confirm temporary effects with eating. New dishes can be made by finding recipes, while ingredients can be, uh, depending on who is in the party, cooking meal effects, others from the various such advice, rotate who on cook's duty. No, this isn't from Dragon Quest, this is from uh, Tales, the Tales of. Tales of Despair, you can cook after battle. But not at ends and stuff. After battle, you're able to prepare a meal to build up your, uh, to fill up your HP and stuff. I like collecting materials though. Apple gel flavor Mr. stores for hundred fifty one dollars. Really yeah, I like that. Wait a minute, can we? This isn't the full game. I know when we get the full game that we can uh, do a gambit system, and we can set up our characters the way we want to in battle. Can you jump? You can. Jumping confirmed. Level 23, Archer Hulk, times three. Oh, 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 this is gross. Hulk, new moves. This is gross. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being real negative right now. I'll be really negative. But I hate using the R1 battle. This is, this, this, they're trying to get the Call of Duty fan into this. I get it. Ew, 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 ew. It feels horrible. It feels, oh god, it feels so horrible. Especially with the PlayStation 4 controller. The PlayStation 4 controller is not made for, for video games. I'm sorry. Ew, 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 ew. This, this is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. There has to be an option for us. Is there a way I could do some type of questionnaire? Because using the R1 button is a disgrace. No. No, 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 no. Not right, not right, not right whatsoever. Damn it! That pisses me off because this is going to be the majority of the game 
It pisses me off because I like everything that I'm seeing from collecting materials. The metal engraving can craft accessories for you using ores that you mine from mining points once you strengthen accessories to activate new skills for it. You can even transfer those skills to different accessories altogether. But wow, um, once a character art has reached, there's a lot going on pertaining to battle. That means that this combat system can get very deep. It's just that R1 button is horrible. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's, I apologize, but it's horrible. No, no good. <clears throat> uh, my character looks like a Gears of War character. That's another negative. Don't like it. They're really trying to bring in the Western audience with this one. button is weird yeah it is man it feels weird too it feels really weird I hope they bring this to the switch but make it just for switch like how they did Dragon Quest 11 uh, no not no downgraded version BS yeah man what? I think the switch version switch is going to get um, some other Tales up games they're going to announce soon from the rumors I think we're getting Tales of Destiny and it was something else, some other Tales game. Hmm. But yes, they're currently working on some Switch ports for the older games. Anyway. <sighs> Got it. Yes, that was one of the first Tales of games. I, Tales of Destiny. It might be the director's on, cut version when they remastered the game. Head to Vishnitz. Vishnitz. He says stay on the roads, but I'm stupid like that. I like picking up materials though, materials for crafting new weapons, armor, medical supplies, I love it, huh, huh, demon, oh shoot, I hope they don't kill me, 25, level 20, oh I gotta fight all of you guys, okay, and looks like his health is going nowhere. Ooh, that, it's so uncomfortable. What's this? Let me my buddies. Am I dead? Oh, got him dead. Somebody here revive me. Revive me, resurrection. Thank you. Demon Prime! Thing. Uh, I think it's in every Tales of game. That's what I like about the Tales of series is that you'll see attacks from other games. Which is really cool. Uh oh, somebody dead. Our, our healer is dead, guys. So if we die, we're out of here. Do I? How do I revive? Is there a way I can conjure up a... Is she back? Hold up. Is 
this as valuable as I think it is? Is it me or is it like a little... It, what it, it's like airy. It's like... It's, I feel like I'm not connecting. I mean, I'm connecting, but it doesn't have that... Uh, uh, feel, you know? It's like I'm just hitting the enemies. It, I know I'm being negative, but I, I am enjoying when I play. It's just, it's just a little couple of things that are concerning me. What's this thing? How do I, um... Oh, no, here we go. Air arts. Oh, that's cool. I like these aerial arts. First aid. She's the only one that has a revive. Okay, we got a couple of life bottles. Cool. This game would be really cool for handheld. Strategy. here. Guys, with your I don't know. And my technique, we're stronger together than we are apart. I don't know. This should be a good place to fight. Wow, Kisara, it's so big. Maybe you're, because we're mid-game. Maybe shield, if I right? started off, 
the game with nothing. I guess they want to kind of just get you a lot of people acclimated with the, the fast, fluid combat system. More accessible, easy to access combat system. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I think this is really stale. This is borderline. This is borderline garbage. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I see a campsite here. Huh? A merchant. Hey, merchant. this this is cool level two level three decrease aggro s so oh I wonder how you can get the the, the rarity up it's very cool How do you increase that? Oh, probably different items. They don't have a thing where you can do... What's CP? What is that? I'd like to... Resting, I can't go restore your party's HP and CP. While resting, you can watch skits and cutscenes that you previously viewed. Check their wares, if you don't mind. Uh. Food. Take food. This is more. This is more than my garbage. A too much today. <laughs> oh no! What happened? Those skits. But I think it's because we're we're in we're kind of in a little bit of the head in the game. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. Six minutes. Very different from Vesperia. I couldn't eat any more if I tried. That is true happiness. I hope they... they... There's a way that we can um, adjust the settings for combat. That'd be great. I found some equipment. See, my protect ring is a level three. See, see, this is the cool. This, this is what I like about the game right here that I knew I was gonna like and that was crafting weapons and items and stuff like that. Now what, what makes it even cool is that the, a lot of items are not going to be the same. This one is a level one protect ring but I have a level three. This is the one I craft myself. 
but how does that work? Is it, um, is it with items? Is it with my crafting skills? I don't have a crafting skill, so it was the merchant that did it. I'm looking forward to checking that out when the game, the full game releases. No, wait a minute, I was going to put the attack on him, sorry. And then my healer, I want her to be as tanky as possible. I think, Nova, you said you like this guy, right? I'll give him a protect brain. Let me take a look at it. All right. That's a major plus right there. I like that. That means this game is going to be in order in order to get the ultimate weapon and the ultimate armor. It's going to be some grinding. Right now, I'm not very comfortable with the combat system, but I can get learn to get used to it. I want to fight. Look for another fight. Yeah, okay, you see, Abyss Pe Pebble, rank three. So that means we're going to be able to make, that's how you get your rank up within materials that you craft. You're gonna have to use high level materials. That's, that's what I think. I like, I like this. I like this crafting system so much on material system. Oh, the combat is just not as what I thought it was going to be. Solid edge. This thing is. I got a new weapon. Does it make me stronger? Yes, it does. Look at this. And it's thinner and weird. I want some type of buster sword. That's cool, though. Just like tells when you get a new weapon, it, you can see it change. Oh, I hate the character designs of these characters. Ugh. I like the simple look with the, the older Tales games. Soul Edge! Soul Edge, one of the deadliest weapons in the game. You know what I like better? The, the, two, the, the that 2D, 3D type of... I don't like this behind this back one. Learn Hydration Orb. Consider yourself finished. 
I can learn to, to like this combat system. Even though I would prefer the customization where I could press the square button. But it looks like they locked all of the the attacks, the special attacks within triangle X and square. Kind of making it a lot more easier and accessible to get to. Um, in the other Tales games, you would have to hold up, triangle, down, triangle, or you could just press triangle. You do a simple, uh, just do your basic attack, up, triangle, down, triangle, which is very, I like that. Here, you can just tap one button to get directly to your moves. Not a, not a big deal. Not a big deal. But I, I kind of see what they're... I, I always get agitated when Japan tries to slow things down for, for the, the, the Call of Duty audience, you know what I mean? I get it, I understand it. But I've been on Twitter all day and I didn't see anybody on the Xbox side or the PlayStation side playing this game. Playing this demo. To be honest, I didn't even hear nobody really talk about it. Stone Man! This is cool though, this uh when you press left or right you can bring in your party members to do these things. So I guess when you when you get more acclimated with the combat system, you're gonna be doing some some awesome stuff. I can just have a few minor minor problems with the game. Leveled up, we're now currently level 26. I noticed that we're taking out enemies a lot faster. Sorry if I'm hanging around this area too long. I'm really just getting acclimated with the game. Let me try these little demonic looking monsters over here. They look a little demon demonized. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. There is a uh, room for exploration. Um, I've already found a couple of chests. There's a chest over there. Let's see what these things do. I always do uh, that stay in one place and grind like crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do when I get this game. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in one spot grinding because I'm defeating my opponents. But I guess I we might lose this one. These guys, we got about four of these guys, and they're jumping around and doing crazy stuff. I'm defeating the, the casualized opponents, but I know when I get to that boss, hopefully, it's just like typical Tales of games. If you play on hard, those bosses are dead. You'd be like, I mean, they'd be for three hours be on one boss. I like how you can bring in the reserves as well. That. I don't know what this Super Saiyan, this Kaioken mode I'm in right now. I think it's just random. I don't. I didn't activate it. And the other uh, Tales of Games you were able to activate it. Yeah, this is this is lit. I just don't like tapping R R1 button. I hate it. That's the only thing I hate is the R1 button, uh, the the graphics, and um, what else I had a problem with? Dawn Brace. What's that? Okay, that was nothing. She's got the guns of confusion. I got some type of dawn brace. What is that? Oh, okay, it's for him. Ah, gloves. Gloves. Ah. 
I can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. What's that? Ooh, that looks deadly. Giant zealots roam around certain areas. They are very hard to fight, but you can get rare items and a lot of SP if you manage to beat them. Ooh, I like that. Oh, no, that's an every Tales of game. <laughs> well, that was in Tales of Vesperia, at least. Every dungeon had this super hard monster. And... Tales of Vesperia, I, I'm sorry if I keep bringing up Vesperia. That was... I want to go back and play it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it again. That was great. We're going to die. We're going to die if we fight that thing. If I level up, though, I can take them on. I'm getting major Dragon Quest XI vibes. Alright, we can move on. Before we do, can we create more items? You know what's cool is, hold on, let me see. Is that we're on the main battlefield and like, I was always running out of apple gels, stuff like that, and apple gels were always so expensive, which is a cool thing. I actually did like it, but I do like that we can just come to this guy, restock on apple gels, and then go right back into battle. But I, to be honest, I, I did like grinding outside for a while and then going back into town, restocking. But everything is so expensive in these uh, Tales of games. We can get 11. Everything be mad expensive, man. You'd be like, dang. We are struggling. I'm gonna, um, can we save? What else can we create? Metal engraver, what's that? Okay, max XP. Abyss pebble mass. Yeah, when we get more and more items, we're gonna be able to crack, uh, craft more stuff. Look at this. And there's different ranks. Oh, and there's different skills. Look. This one's a rank 3, rank 3. But look, it has attack 20 on this one and degrees aggro. aggro. And this is wind earth damage plus 10. Increase aggro. That's cool. Oh, yeah. We're going to be grinding on this, boys. Grind time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. Let me uh, equip my characters from this screen. What the hell? Hey, that. Shut up. Okay. Very good. Very good. I always like the mage in the Tales of Vesperia games. They're always overpowered. She looks like she's going to be pretty tough. I think Novisay likes this guy. Looks pretty good. Yeah, the pineapple gels be mad expensive. <laughs> I've got You'd be like, yo! Notice under any circumstances. But like, why is this so expensive? What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could have sworn I saw something other than fire burst from some of yours. That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm, okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? 
It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. I like the skits because One they're, they're, they're mandatory. Bombs. They're not Extra forced powerful on you. Healing arts. So if you want to sit through cutscenes, um, and talk and stuff, it's, it's kind of basically on your bombs, own choosing, you know what I mean? Die. Now, with the PlayStation Network my and, and, and Xbox Live, I'll you my tend to get trophies and then. help you get the Platinums if you've seen all the skits and stuff, which is a very good thing. But um, I find myself, when it pertains to Tales of Despair and Tales of Abyss, I really loved, actually, when the skits would pop up and I was getting a more detailed background of a lot of these characters. <clears throat> So, in my opinion, skits are very cool. Very, very cool. This is cool, too. I would like to craft items by myself. Ice cream. Double the greenness for 90% to cooking. How many I got of this? Potatoes. I'll do that. What do you think? I love the skits. Give the characters like more it. depth to them. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I gotta go back and finish Abyss. I think I'm like halfway through. It's a brand new day, everyone. Let's greet the dawn. Hmm. A laudable sentiment. Um, hey, is Dohalim's shirt on backwards? I like it, I like it, I like this game. Do I think it's gonna beat Monster Hunter Stories 2? Absolutely not. But I like it. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is lit. It's lit. It's dope. Alright, let's move on. Uh, which way? Oh, wow! But I, I do. That sometimes we come across oh. enemies who fight like you Skits. and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move into attack. Ooh, Nino you know, Kuni 2 on the Switch is gonna be clean. Hell yeah, bro. Seeking is a way to more reliably Hell hit them. Yeah, bro. Oh my god. I like Nino Kuni 2. I don't I don't I like it because it's not a Nino Kuni game, but I like it as a game. They emerge as the and that is the perfect game to command. play on the go. Swiftly bind the you know what I mean? At which point you can dispatch. That's one of those type. That's a uh -huh. grind, uh, level grinding type uh, game. What he means is that he can make plants grow. To Building up your village. Effects. That is a at game that you you take on the go. I'm it's great. At least one of us understands him. So basically, I think, and I think Unicorn 2 is coming around, dodge, coming out the right at the same time this game comes out. So I guess I that'll, be, I that'll be our game. Means to help. We can play, but I, I think I'll be playing this and Unicorn 2. I want to play Unicorn 2 right now, but I'm gonna wait until the full game comes out on the Switch. That game really impressed me, man. I like it as a game. I don't like it as Unicorn you know, though. Hey, Shane, where? where does your gun come from? More skits. What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in Next month, space. baby. Sonic and Colors Ultimate, too. I'll give Sonic Colors a try. On a, on a, uh, later on. Sounds pretty amazing. I know Sonic Colors will look really good well, on the Nintendo Switch, playing it on handheld mode. Or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty and, cool uh, Oh, especially looks good you when you get that OLED screen. You the technology of your enemies, Sonic right? Colors will look real clean. So, technology is technology. But I, I do, I do want to pick that up, and I'm definitely looking forward I to seeing with this true. new open world Sonic game. I heard that they announced that a little too early, though. Is that Sonic Colors, that song? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. How do I open up the map? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. 
Can't go this way, I think. You can the LID day one, me too, man. Me too. If I can get one, if I can find one. Wait until you see those enhanced colors coming out coming out of that screen, coming directly to your your pineal gland. You're gonna be like, yo! While you're playing Sonic Colors, it's gonna look amazing. Crazy how I'm getting another Switch before any of those next years it counts. You pre ordered it, Tape Cool, cool, cool. I, I gotta get one. It's hard to get a council nowadays, man. They won't even allow you to get the council councils from the store anymore. Birds, call! I won't forgive you! Try not to What's going on? Oh, I'm like, what the hell? I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I was pressing the dodge button. Oh, I don't like... I, I, this, the only thing I don't like is uh, I don't like how loady this combat is. I don't feel like I'm connected. Maybe if I picked another character. Is there another, can I pick another character? No. What is this CP? What is that? What am I doing wrong? You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Silver trunk. Grimoire one. Grimoire ore. See, this is gonna be the this is gonna be the fun for me, man, is finding materials. Ooh, that is going to be so fun. My OCD loves that type of weird stuff. Apple gel. When you die, is it game over or... Wait a minute, did I already come from here? What the hell? I feel like I came from here already. I don't remember. <laughs> Let me go back. I need to get some type of HD camera to do an unboxing of the OLED. I know, man. I gotta bring back the unboxings. Did we come from here already? I wanna see my map, but I can't. Outfits, oh, that's getting money out of me. Ooh, you can change your characters for a fight and come as well as you wish to control the position of the determines the trigger the boost attacks, but all my during combat to change. Change battle controls. Press to change the character battle controls. Him automatically moves around until in attack range. Manual full character control. Auto fits best in strategy. Press okay. I'm gonna take some people out. Take you out. Bring in the girl with the booty. With the oh, I can change my leader. Okay. I think I'm gonna play with him. Let's try um oh, okay, I can guys. I'm gonna try uh Leon, whatever his name is, Law. Hey, whoa, that's not Law. Hey Rinwell, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything. 
For reciting this oh. allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full this incantation, gonna be lit, guys. I can hold on it's to the single lit. astral art without casting Couple it right A couple of minor away. problems, but... So once the That's astral okay. energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. The Owl of Confusion. I think I just came from that way. Let's go this way. JRPGs. I love JRPGs. I love it, I love it, I love them. Oh? Okay, this feels like I'm connecting. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lot slower. I'm not getting my ass kicked. Kill me. Kill me, woman. When I use my, um, uh, my moves. Is it when I use these break moves? You can sure see me, I'm not sure. Eagle Dive. That dive kick, what's that from? I love JRPGs, I love them! This guy's a little too slow for me. Dragon Kick! I'm gonna go back to uh playing with the old boy. Yeah. You'll be able to help even more people now. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I will. I wanna fight you, but I don't know how this game over works. Do I die and just come right back? I want to fight you. I want to fight you. You can tell it's tough just looking at it. Yeah, it probably messed us up good. Yeah, it's... The game is warning me. I'm gonna have to level grind. Let's move on. That's beautiful, look at that. I like that. See that, guys? In the distance, that's home. Wait a minute, some type of glitch. Oh no, that's a planet. It's a giant moon. Uh, it's a planet right next to our planet. The planet Sirius. Whew. I don't sense any more enemies. Snepalium, guys. Oh, giant rabbit pigs. Raboid pigs. They look deadly. And tiny cows. Oh, milk. Give me the milk, cow.
Chickoids, chickens. Chickens and eggs. Very good. Huh? A chest. A blue chest. Beef stew recipe. Nice. There's no point in reading it unless you plan on making it. Nice. Places you can't go inside. Great. Beef. Very good. Very good. Huh? Swimming. Swimming, guys. Swimming is confirmed. Look at this. Fork and knife, I think that's a cooking cooking recipe. Ah, fish. Salmon, I love salmon. That's all I eat is salmon. Crystals. Astral ore. Alright. Do I already have this? Do we have like a little icon that tells you if it's new or old? Oh, the fish are jumping out of the water. Um, times three. Nice, nice, nice. Salad and shrimp and pizza are my go-to meals. <sighs> no, I had to drop the pizza, man. I was getting these uh, pizza with cauliflower crust. It, it's still bad. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's that cheese. I, I, I just can't do cheese. I'm going to get it once. I'm gonna get it every once in a while, like once every every three months. I'm I'm really really disciplined right now. Ah, super disciplined. I rock wall. This might be some. See that? This game is this game's good. This is a good game. It's not. It's not what I want it to be. But it's good. Look at this. Not what I want it to be, but it's good. Anything that makes battles easier is okay by me. Is it worth? Is it? Is it? What day does Nino Kuni 2 come out? And what day does this come out? Shoot, I don't think any of those games are worth the full sixty dollars. <laughs> but I don't have anything to play. I mean, I got plenty to play. But uh. I'm kind of winding down on Monster Hunter Stories 2. Great game. And I don't... Well, Monster Hunter Stories 2, right now, you would have to... Um, yeah, vegetable soup. These are recipes with a fork and knife. Uh, contains a large heap of vegetables boiled into it become soft. It has a gentle flavor. It warms the body. You should think about eating soon. Really? These recipes will be used to, uh, Don't make me say it again. do Look. certain things. Hold on. September 17th. I think you know going to will be $40 now. I, I think it's 60 Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think Nino Kuni 2 is worth it. $60. <laughs> I bought it on sale for the PlayStation uh, 4. You know what I mean? How do I get to my recipes? Let's try manual. Is semi auto is when I tap it and they automatically run or run to the uh, to the demon. How do I get to the rest of these? Can I? Uh, maybe when I go to a campfire. 
Okay. Yeah, sixty dollars for Nino Kuni too. No way. But uh, like I said, I don't have anything to really play. Um, I can get the world ends with you too. But I'm not spending sixty dollars on that. I'm not spending. Well, I don't think what you might call it is sixty dollars. Um, Ace Attorney, the new Ace Attorney. Definitely not paying sixty dollars for that. I do want it though. I like this little town. This is good. It reminds me of Dragon Quest so much. Hmm? At least Sonic Colors is forty bucks. Yeah, man. Hmm? And you are? Hey. Yes. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. I guess. This gives me Yakuza vibes when you talk to characters on side quests. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Here you be like, Nani? <sighs> Nani? I gotta get that new Yakuza game. That's unfortunate. Who these pop man? Terrible. Nani? Okay, off we go. Defeat the giant Zelugo in the title planes. I like it. I like it. I like it. Press. Okay, here goes the map right here. I'm like, I'm like how do I get access to the map? People are complaining about Pokemon Arceus. They are? Wow. Are you kidding me? I think that looks amazing. I think it looks great. I'm looking forward to Pokemon Arceus and, and I'm looking forward to playing Diamond and Pearl. Big time. When does that come out? September? No, that's November. No, no, no. I, I think Pimple Arsmus looks great. Whoever's complaining is probably like a... Now, Nintendo, fan, Nintendo fanboys be going in. I can't even blame Xbox and Sony guys. There is, there is some type of witch hunt for Pokemon. Rightfully so, because I don't think the Pokemon has been right for the past couple of years. But I do think Pokemon Arsmus is great. And I think everybody's gonna buy that. I could be wrong though. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Textures is popping in. Yeah, yeah nobody's complaining about the textures coming in. But with Pokemon, <laughs> yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Yo, they were doing it on my side of the stories. They were like, oh god, the textures. Look at these texture pop-ins, man. I'm going with the Steam version. And then everybody bought the Switch version. Ugh. 
Everybody's learning new moves. I love that. Oh, I know this water is at. I love how the how the um everybody learning new attacks. Do we level up or something? I love seeing attacks and moves from previous games. Very good. I don't know. That's what I thought. I thought Monster Hunter Stories looked great on the Nintendo Switch. They were like, man, whoa, look at these uh, frames. Fred the fr I was like, what are you talking about? But you know, I I don't know anything about frames, so I'm probably bad to, to be asking about that. Um, I need to find the medic at Denver going to... We should be able to cook here. Let's see if I can... Unlock some new stuff. Yeah, I, I didn't see... I didn't... I, I'm with you on that, Nova. I think people were just complaining to be complaining. Magic Elimbalum. Did I buy this yet? There's nothing here telling me if I bought it yet or not. Is it? I don't see it. Did I buy this already? Uh, I guess I should have looked. Apple gels. Let's get some life bottles. I don't know if we're going to come across anything deadly. Just want to be cautious. Ba 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 da. You make sure to rest too. Skits. I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, uh, oh, I gotta just go to what work. are you saying? Is there a way I can save know? it here and come back? Does it bother you or something? Not really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantations. I'm just focused, so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each art, I guess. Law. Astral energy? Hold on, are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly. But if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my arts. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait, you don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send out lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... May lightning condemn those who bear false thunderblade! Ah, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! I just asked the astral energy to send out lightning where there were annoying boys. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. I can go back and watch your skits. Tell me, Dohalim, has that skill of yours got a name? And what skill would this be, pray tell? The Prince you know, of Persia. when you're talking to people around town. The way they suddenly become punny Ooh, in your $60 for this, huh? Ugh. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. <laughs> I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Uh, listen, I care about the developers, but and speak in a deep, booming voice, and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous. He doesn't have its hooks on any me, feelings like, of uh, intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it. How Ball do you shoot. learn it? Can anyone do it? <laughs> now you've got me curious. Is there special training to master? Hmm. Let's see. An obsession with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old-fashioned, too. 
bonus points if you speak in a way no one can understand. If you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker to just come out and say it. What? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just I love how along. the Tales of games these characters. Hey! What's the, the characters hate all each all other. <laughs> I can barely understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Was it something they ate? I love that so much. I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. Yeah, I love that. Uh, I'm gonna skip out a couple of these skits. I'll watch them when I get the full game. Yeah, I got nothing to play. I'll, I'll pick this up at full price. I wish I was getting it for the Xbox though, but I don't have an Xbox. Uh, okay, did it the boost? Favorite favorite meal effects. Okay, okay, I see. Oh, look, look at this. This one, there are th three of them like the vegetable soup, and it has different variation of skills here. It's cook effect plus 15, cut duration by 25. Yeah, that's nice. Experience boost. That's very cool. Beef stew wants a lot of ingredients. Pepper and salmon for the defensive up. Mmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. Thank you. Step on me. Yo, Sly's here. No, it's the demo. All right, guys. Ready to Can go? I save? I have to go to work. Is it an auto save? Yeah, I, I did see it save, right, guys? I have to come back tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's an auto save. Yeah, let me know what you, how you feel about the game when you play it. I think it's terrible. No, I'm just playing. It's it's okay. There's a couple of things I don't like though, but it's okay. I think it's an auto save. I'm gonna come back. Let me see. Let me quit and come back. Current play data will be lost. Ooh. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to come back. I gotta go to work. I just wanted to see how the combat and everything was. Game of the year, uh, 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 We'll see, we'll see. It's just a demo. We'll see. It's not as epic as I thought it was going to be. But I do love this. I love the collecting of materials. The crafting. There's a lot here to like. I don't think I like the cast of characters as of yet. They just threw them all on me. So I guess when I pick them up throughout the game, you know, I can get a better understanding of them. Hey! Yeah, but I think it's I think it's cool. I think I'll give it, right now. I'll give it a solid six, six point five. Six. I hate the graphics. The graphics are terrible. I 
want to fight that. Hulk? Hawks. Come! Yo, 100. Yo, 100's in the building. What's up, brother? What's poppin'? Oh, damn it. I was pressing. See, I'm so used to pressing X that I used all my... <laughs> Yo, Sly, this is what I do not like, is that you have to press the R1 button to attack. I hate this. It feels really uncomfortable. Let me know how, how you like it when you play. If you like it, then I, then I would know for sure that it's terrible. Because I, I don't like pressing the R1 to attack. It, it feels really uncomfortable. Maybe if I had an Xbox controller or I was playing on the Switch, it would feel better, but this PlayStation controller is terrible. I'm just trying to do Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's got that... It's reassuring to have you around. You know... I still got a ways to go. What do you call that? It's like a... It's, I don't like using triggers in an RPG. I like using buttons. You know what I mean? Is it a game breaker? Kinda, yeah. But, you know, hopefully I can get used to it. And or they give us an option to change this in the full game. I understand why they're doing it because, you know, a lot of people who don't play RPGs will feel more comfortable playing with by pressing the triggers. But um, for me, I think it's a major negative. Asshole. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? What was that game that they, they created, Nanko Bandai? It just came out not too long ago. I don't know. Was that buttons? Tied to the R, the R trigger, the triggers as well. What was that game called? Uh, what's that game called? It just came out. Astro? No. I don't know. <laughs> it just came out. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was a little, it was a little Something too fast for me. Be on your guard. Huh? Scorp scorpion scorpoid tells have always had these little scorpion like demons all we have to do is get rid of that thing right all right here we go i'm pretty sure we're going to use all our skills against this thing skits what are you all scarlet nexus yeah was that with the triggers as well path i don't see any path. that was really that was really do you mean that, that thing really that bad. looks like an animal trail path may be a generous term Scarlet I'm Nexus, you know yeah. Hmm. My gut says to a bridge. <laughs> Poodle says your gut's right. Ali. Wrong. Really? Oh. Well, it is definitely in the right general I'm never about to fight a boss, so that means that we really got to turn up in combat. Free, but he does have an uncanny knack for insisting on some strange and unique routes. Often always it's dead like it's uh, not. You can like skip, you can skip the I'll stitch stay. too. That's good. Skipping, skippy, skipping skits. Let's do this. This thing looks demonic too. Look at him. The Prince of yeah, I call him the Prince of Persia. Level twenty six. We could definitely take this thing looks on. Like Let's go. Demon thing. Demon thing. Holy crap, look at that health bar. He's down. Some large enemies have orange glowing spirit cores that can be destroyed after taking a set amount of damage. Doing so will break the cord and down them. Depending on the enemy, these weak points can also be directly targeted. Nice. How do you directly target it? I'm gonna have to learn how to dodge. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, that's good. Aim for the uh. Shoot 
shoot that thing. I'm gonna have to learn to dodge better. Learn how to dodge to get out of dodge. Hey, shield go. Man, this thing is tank got a tanky leg, don't it? Ooh, I hit the R1 by this so bad. It's so bad. You idiot. Huh? It's an automatic go into rage mode. Stupid. Rising! What the hell? Yo, heal me. Thank you. Yo, this dude's leg is real tanky, yo. Law, come in here. Get that leg, Law. It's a Persia, you're in. Conjuring up the roots of confusion. There's a way to do an attack where it takes your own health, but I'm not doing that. Oh, we broke it. I didn't down me that long. Down that bastard. He's afraid. He's afraid. I can't wait to see what the human boss is going to be. Not just monsters. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> Revive me, woman. Thank you. Heal me, woman. Thank you. Oh god, we're dying. Oh shoot, I'm sorry, I had to interrupt you while you was healing. Oh crap, his leg is exposed. Where did those bees come from? I didn't even know the bees. So now you're getting serious? Who's dead? Oh, I mage. Now I'm dead. Uh, how do I... That was fast. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, damn it. I like that. I like that, I like that. Stay away from my friend. Ah. Did you even notice? Brick! I'm not always going to around to heal you, you know. How do I roll again? Okay, there we go. Uh, everybody's dead. And my my healer is trash. Sometimes the medicine is the toughest to swallow. 
Healer, heal. Oh yeah, this is the good. This is what makes this game lit. The difficulty. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to heal. Oh shoot. You get a, you get a gang of HP with the great HPs and great gels, and I was picking those up on the random land. I, that, I think this is just for the demo. There's no way you can get this much HP. Unless this is, I don't know, depending on where this is in the level in the, in the uh, game. That's, uh, these grape gels. There's no way. Not the Tales of games I play. No way. Yo, this game's lit. This game's official, guys. Damn it! This game's official. Like a referee and a whistle. Come on, break that freaking leg! Get in here. Somebody's dead, I know. Get him down. See? There we go. Nice. This game is lit. This game is lit, guys. Official. It's officially lit. I'm dead. Damn it! No, I'm not. These grape gels, no way. They're really gonna give us grape gels like that? You see that? You see how I gave it to my teammate first and not me? Why? Because I can just roll out of the way. And wait for the thing to come back up, then I can conjure up another grape gel. There's no way we're getting grape gels like that, getting access. Get in here. Get in here. The core, you idiot. The core. There you go. He's already dead. Yeah! Yeah! Yes, this has the Zombie 70 stamp of approval. <laughs> What's up, to make Poo? <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. That right there was, that's it. That's it right there. <laughs> Way better than, um, did you see one of your most recent polls? They were hyping up mental illness simulators. <laughs> what? <laughs> I missed it. What was that? I got to go back and read it. <laughs> Yes. Yes. You see, there it is, right there. Scarlet Nexus. Yeah, it's no Scarlet Nexus. It's it's. Uh, I have a couple of problems with the game, and that is because you have to use the R1 button to attack. Excuse me. I don't like using triggers in a JRPG. If you like that, then you're good. Another thing, I don't like the graphics. I don't like it whatsoever. I, I I don't like the sharp edges. I think it's you know the character designs are a little bit too overboard. It's giving me a Gears of War vibe. You know what I mean? Not nothing wrong with Gears of War. I like Gears of War when I play Gears of War. I don't like Gears of War when I'm playing Tales of Vesperia. I my favorite Tales of game is Tales of Vesperia, and I love the cell-shaded simpleness of it all. Not only that, the backgrounds, 
are freaking outstanding in Tales of Vesperia. When you go to some of these villages and towns, the backgrounds are just so orgasmic to look at. Unreal Engine, I just don't like. They Unreal Engine did an excellent job with Dragon Quest XI. But I just have a, uh, I have a, I have a problem with Elden Religion with everything else. But it's great. The, the collecting, the crafting, uh, combat just now, yes. Collecting, crafting, combat. I'm starting to like the characters. The thanks to the skits. Skits are very good. I love skits when it comes to Tales of Vesperia because they're able to give you a deeper understanding of the characters. <sighs> this girl seems to be angry all the time. What? She's completely different from um, old girl from sure. Vesperia, even though she has pink hair and she's a healer. <sighs> but yes. Yes. <sighs> but if you have no problems with using the R trigger for combat, if you have no problems with the Unreal Engine and the Gears of War uh, graphics, you're right. um, you're golden. Some dude was like, I like Hellblade because it's literally about mental illness or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, <laughs> Sly, it, it is what it is. A lot of people like video games. Hey, listen, when you buy your game, I don't give a goddamn what you do with it. We're going to get into it with the Extendo podcast this weekend. There was a young lady, uh, Looks, she looks like a Twitch streamer. I don't want to really get to judging her. She's got orange hair. She dyed her hair orange, I can tell. And she wants easy mode in all these games and... Listen, I don't give a damn what you do with your game when you buy it. You can take the game and wipe your ass with it. Stick your penis in the hole of the of the circle of the uh, of your CD or your Blu-ray. I don't give a damn what you do with it. <laughs> but she's talking about she don't want no challenge. I'm an adult. I'm, I don't want to play games with challenges anymore. And that's why I have a problem. I say, no, 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 this is the reason why we play a game is for the challenge. The first thing I did when I started playing this game right here, I put it directly to hard. Not to, you know, be on the internet boasting and bragging and being braggadocious and being cocky. And No, I just did it because I know it was going to, that boss battle would have been a lot shorter and I would have just wiped him up with my squad. <clears throat> and, you know, it would have took away the what I, the experience I just had right now where I have to be on survival mode where it's like, all right, I got to heal my pillar characters. Okay, I got to come in for the attack. Oh, no, my other character's down. I got to go revive him. Okay, I got to come back in for the attack. Like, that's fun to me when I play the Tales of Vesperia. And, you know, at first you start off with one character. Now they're giving us all the characters, are giving us everything already out the box. But still, you don't get everything. And as the game progresses for Tales of Vesperia, you're going to be getting some of the most craziest, most wildest attacks. Your mage is going to be doing some of the most dopest stuff. Your healer is going to be doing dope stuff. Your shield, it's going to be crazy when you get deeper and deeper into the game. Listen, there's a lot here to enjoy. I'm stamping it. Pow! Great. Those easy mode gamers are really toxic. They want to destroy gaming. What the F? Yeah. That's the thing I'm concerned of. I don't want that to be the norm. That we're going to just be... That's it? For? Okay. That's good. That's good. I'm Renan. Huh? There's no way. What could a Dan What's up with my, my mask? Gain from helping a Renan like me? This game's oh my god! You really he just pulled a sword out of this woman's chest. It's just another thing I don't have. This is some type of big Xenoblade. I don't course. remember anything about my past. A man numb to pain. Oh look! I don't have to wear that stupid. No, he wasn't wearing that armor. 
You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? Balls in your court, soldier. What do you say? They're gonna be having to costume fight. sets, but I think you gotta pay for them. Yeah, I like a minette outfit right That's there. I don't want to wear that stupid. We've got a better chance for the armor. It's dumb. It's only Ooh, the human villains. Ooh, that looks cool. Woo! Woo! Until the day I die. Yeah. I knew I Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish we had never This is the beginning right here. I hope. I wouldn't have to feel this way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, guys. She said she wanted the easy mode because she just wanted to enjoy the story. And that's fine. But, um, go watch a damn movie. I, I know the movies are trash and we're getting better stories in our video games, excluding Sony exclusives. But I don't really give a goddamn about the story. I haven't cared about the story in a long... I mean, I care about the story. But I haven't seen a story that was that good where I needed to play the game on easy, like Persona 5, I, there wasn't nothing, I can't remember the story of Persona 5. This is cool, I got a couple of gripes, but this will be my next game I play. I'm going to hold off playing any other games. Monster Hunter Stories, I'm coming to a, I'm coming to a completion with until they added some more DLC. I got the new Golden Armor. I got the eggs for um, Hellblade, Glavinus, and the Electric Demon. Only thing I need to do is um, switch around some skills on my monsters and Monster Hunter Stories. I do want to go back and play Pokemon, Sword and Shield, so maybe I'll play that before this comes out. Nino Kuni 2 is coming out next month as well. There's a lot of games coming out next month. Respectfully, Scarlet Nexus is your dummy RPG. Yeah, it's, it's an RPG for, you know, for casuals. I'll, I'm, I'm going to pick it up, you know, when it's, when it's a little cheaper. Not that I got that, I, you know, I know we're in the support the developers era because of Game Pass, but um, I'm going to wait for a discount on that bad boy. But yes, I agree. I pray Tales of Arise is nothing like Scarlet Nexus. No, it won't be. No. From what I just played, nothing like Scarlet Nexus because I actually can't wait for the full game. This is good. This is good, guys. Try the demo. Slide. Let me know what you think. If you like it, then it sucks. <laughs> Zobi, you enjoyed the demo? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. I did. And to be honest, I don't really like Tales of Demos. I did like the, the Vesperia demo in the 360 years ago. And they gave us that hard-ass boss, but that was fun. But this was cool. I, I, like I said, crafting, amazing. Collecting materials for crafting, amazing. Collecting materials for cooking, amazing. Combat, I'm digging it now. Even though I don't like using the R1 trigger. That's, I hate using triggers in an RPG. I hate using triggers in a JRPG. I hate anything that just gives me a feeling that I'm playing Call of Duty gets me freaking angry. <laughs> That's one of my negatives with Bloodborne and the Soul series is I gotta use the triggers. That makes me so mad. But after and the graphics are horrible. But after that. This is going to be lit. This is going to be it. When I get this bad boy, I won't play until I beat it. I won't stop till I beat it. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing a freaking shooter. I don't know. No. Uh, I, I understand. But no. Yeah, hey, listen. Oh, isn't that cute? But it's wrong. 
All right, guys, I got to get ready for work, man. But, uh, yes, download the demo, guys. Try it out. And hopefully we all can pick up the game and play along. And we can have a discussion after we beat it. But, yes, we have the conspiratorial podcast coming. I don't know what day, but it's coming. This week going to be busy because I got painting to do. And I got um, some other things to do. Extendo podcast this week. Um, the topic will be is Game Pass uh, sustainable? Is is Game Pass something like that? Uh, the creators, at Square Enix, and Outriders, whatever that game is called, is talking about they haven't got any type of compensation for the game. We'll talk about that. Uh, oh, you guys got the conspiratorial tutorial podcast is going to be lit, though. We're going to be going heavy. I guarantee you, when we end the podcast, you're going to be scared. You're going to be spooked out because I'm going to be showing you guys some stuff with aliens that you've never seen before. Actual footage of aliens. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah. Thank you guys for so much for stopping by. I'll check for you guys later this week. Shala, I had you.